So, there is the instrument I give to Concordia, okay? Thank so you, you have, <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> so, I give these two press over here, okay? I give this one, we spell that in French, a uh, Mexico, okay? Uh, because the Mexico is the man who is create this machine, okay? So that's why we spell that a uh, Mexico, okay? This one over here, it's a cisaille, okay? With this cisaille, okay, we could cut cardboard, regular paper, Japanese paper, or which kind of paper you could use, you could cut, okay? The only thing you have to understand, okay, you have a blade over here and you have another blade over here, okay? It's not too sharp, okay? But it's always time <coughs> close with chain and, uh, okay, because uh, for the security. So if you have to use these two machines, you have to go to see Patrick, okay? He will hope the machine for you, okay? And maybe he will show you how to handle, by the way. Okay, but I'm going to show you how we handle, by the way. Okay, so you will have maybe just an idea of these uh, opportunity. For the other part over there, you have three different cabinets. Okay, and these three different cabinets, you have uh, some little press uh, character in that uh, cabinet. <coughs> okay, you have different uh, size, and you have different also character. Okay, and <coughs> the character you have in the dryer, okay, it show right on the dryer, by the way, okay? Now, they have, we have two, two different kind of uh, art stamping machine, okay? Which means this machine is a transfer, okay? It's a hot tr transfer. So you have a foil where you have the, let's say, a gold, you have the a silver one, or you could have a color one, okay? And you would like to, uh, just to uh, put a name on, uh, on a sheet of paper, or whatever, okay? To, defer, to depend which kind of work you would like to do, you could make a print on the box also, okay? Because this one you, uh, over here, you, you could lift up if you would like to make a print with let, let's say a box about that size, you could do with that, okay, you just lift up and you could do it by the way, okay? Now, <coughs> yes? Did you do that on leather? Could you print a uh, hot print on leather? Yes, okay. yes, you could do hot stamping on leather, on paper, on cardboard. Now, when you use this machine, okay, you have to use carefully, okay? Because you don't have to do the because the character, it's not solid, okay? So you have to go carefully with that. Before you finalize your work, okay? You better make uh, a, a test before, okay? Because you have a heater on this machine, okay? And the heater can go over 300, okay? Because if it goes over 300, it's gonna cook your fold, okay? And it's not really nice, okay? So you have to make tests before, okay? And after that, when you test it's uh, what you want, after that, okay, you are able to do the final one, okay? That's fine, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna show you this one, how it's work, okay? So, we have cardboard over here, okay? Jenny, she bring me this stuff for me to, just to show you, okay, how it's work. Now, these, we have to insert in this machine on this way. Okay, you have a pedal over here, okay? This pedal is why we use that. It's to hold your document, okay? It doesn't move. If I don't do that, okay, and I just cut my cardboard, it's gonna move, okay? And I don't want that, okay? So what we do, we press over here, and we just do that. Okay, and you have this piece of cardboard is cut. Okay, now if you have a piece of cardboard, okay, and you don't know if it's a good square or uh, on uh, each side, okay, what you have to do, okay, I cut, <coughs> I just put my cardboard on one way over here. I already cut that one, okay. I turn my cardboard on this way. 
Now, what I have, I have a good angle, good angle, good angle. The only one I have to strip at the end is that one. And you could have your measure and it's perfect. Okay? Now, if I would like to cut, let's say, I have some Japanese paper over here. Okay? If I would like to cut this Japanese paper, I just insert. And I cut the Japanese paper. <laughs> okay? And if you use, let's say, uh, these, uh, these one over here, okay? I think this is a, uh, it's not a reef, it's not BFK, that one, but anyway, okay? That is a kind of paper you're using for your um, etching, okay? So if you would like to remove these parts, okay? You just have to insert into this machine, and here we go. It's cut. Okay? Okay, now, many papers, you go to this machine. Now, when I say many papers, you go to this machine, it's because we have to trim the book, okay? It's really different, okay? But with this machine, one cardboard at a time, one paper at a time, okay, you go like that, okay? To make sure it's a perfect job. If you do, let's say you have six, six sheets like that to cut, and you put the six, one on the other one, okay? What's happened at the end? It's gonna be chick on the, on the paper, okay? So it's not really, really nice. That's why it's really better to do one by one, okay? That's fine. Now, we will go for the Mexico, okay? Now, the Mexico, now, it's Marie Antoinette, okay? <laughs> if you, 